Hi, and welcome to this episode of VR for Work Quick Tips. Here at VR for Work, we like to take uh, some of the applications that we've done our more lengthy, extensive uh, reviews and overviews on and give you some quick tips at how to best utilize them um, now that you're in the environment. And so today, we're going to talk to you about uh, accessing your Android phone while you're in VR using the application uh, vSpatial. We did a overview of vSpatial that's on our site. If you want a more in-depth discussion about uh, that environment, uh, please go check that out. Um, but today we're going to be using vSpatial and talking about how we access our um, uh, Android phone utilizing the Microsoft Your Phone app while we're in vSpatial. And so with that, I'm gonna to go to our desktop and we're gonna talk through accessing our phone information while we're in VR. So my demo is using my Windows laptop and my Android phone. Uh, Microsoft uh, has created an application that you can install off of the uh, uh, Google Play Store on your Android phone called Your Phone. Your Phone then connects to a Your Phone app in the Windows system and uh, it sends or shares information from within your phone directly to your computer desktop so that you can uh, actually respond to text messages, get notifications, and uh, actually see your phone screen and manipulate it all from your Windows desktop. And if you can do it on your Windows desktop and you're using a Windows emulator within VR, like vSpatial, you're going to be able to uh, access your phone also. So with that, let's jump into the demo and take a look. So I'm gonna go here in my Oculus Quest and I'm gonna launch the spatial. And that's gonna load up. And uh, once we're in vSpatial, I'm going to look over to my left with my list of active devices and I'm going to select my laptop. So here we are, there's my uh, laptop. I'm gonna to connect to it and then up in the app visor up top, a number of icons are going to pop up. And what you're going to do is you'll see, and if you've watched our uh, presentation on vSpatial before, you know that these are the active apps running on my laptop at the moment. And one of them that I have open is called Your Phone, and it's represented by this icon right up there. So I'm going to squeeze the uh, grip trigger pull it, drop it into my workspace. Now what you'll notice is that it's saying connecting to your phone. So the application's reaching out and it's connecting to my uh, Samsung Note 10. And when um, it makes a successful connection, you actually see my phone screen come up here within vSpatial. That's, that's my phone right there. All right, and so I go over here to the left and there's a panel that you're given that lists out notifications, messages, photos, your phone screen, and calls. Um, you'll notice in the notifications uh, icon, there's a little blue um, indicator that uh, most people are familiar with is saying, hey, there's a, a notification here you, you haven't read. So if we click that, you can see that I've got a notification that's actually on my my phone that's kind of across the room for me at the time um, from LinkedIn and um, I could go check that out if I wanted. So it's right there. And then I can go to messages and I'll stop here. Um, messages are your text messages. And you can see I have a couple of items listed here. I actually get a text message anytime somebody adds an appointment to my calendar. So that rolls in and I can actually look at those and act on them. Now, you can see that I've clicked on the new messages icon over here on uh, the left-hand side. And from this screen, I can actually type in a name that will uh, search my contacts and bring up a, uh, a message field that I can actually reply to a message 
or send a new message, a new text message right from my desktop or better yet, right from VR uh, to that, that recipient. So yep, uh, there, and I can send a new text message while I'm sitting in VR. It's all about being efficient and productive. I can access the photos that are on my phone. And I can again go back and actually access my phone screen. Now at this point, I'm gonna uh, jump into focus mode in vSpatial. And again, if you wanna know the specifics behind some of the vSpatial uh, user interface and how that all works, please go look at that video. Okay, and then right from here, I can actually operate my phone like it was on this screen in front of me. So I've clicked on the uh, front screen and it's pulling up my pin entry. Now there's obviously some, some things here that are gonna be different, right? I can't mimic um, a tap and slide on the screen of my phone here. So there are some things you'll have to uh, manipulate a little bit differently. Um, I'm not actually obviously going to tap in my, uh, uh, my pin code here, but I'm gonna show you, I'll pull up the vSpatial keyboard and, and it shows you that, yep, that entry goes right into the phone. And so I could open my phone screen and have access to all the applications here on my phone. Now, again, I can't uh, tap and slide and manipulate my menu the way I would if I were using my finger and sliding it across the glass on my phone. So I had to find some kind of creative ways where I could get to the search bar, type in the name of the application I was looking at. But once I was there, I, I, you can manipulate and move around actually within the phone screen while you're in vSpatial, while you're in VR. It's pretty wild. It's, it's very cool, very efficient. And it's all about, again, getting to that level of productivity and efficiency where uh, just because I have a text message come in or a notification roll in or a call coming in, that I'm not necessarily having to break the flow of my work session, jump out of VR, grab my phone, respond to that message, and then try to get back in and get back to what I was doing. It, it can all exist right here within VR. Now, um, your phone actually has a facility where you can use your PC screen to make phone calls, right? And that's that last little call button that you see there. And if I set that up, this screen actually gets populated with um, a numeric keypad. And, and the idea is to be able to use your PC to, to make phone calls. While I'm in VR, I use a Bluetooth uh, headset, an LG um, collar, I call it, kind of rests around my neck with uh, two earbuds I extend and that's how I, I listen to music and I make phone calls while I'm in a VR session. So again, I don't have to get up. I can hit the, uh, the one of the keys on the, the collar and it calls up Google Assistant and I can say, call my wife and the phone call gets made and I can be still in, in my VR session. So what I'm showing you here, I'm gonna back up just a second, just a little bit, is that again, now from uh, the way uh, vSpatial works, um, right, I can now grab the Your Phone app and I'm gonna dock it up in the control panel visor so that while I'm in my work session and I'm in vSpatial, right, I'm gonna grab my PC desktop now or my laptop desktop and I can have my work area down here in front and that Your Phone app resting up here in the control panel above the workspace. So at a given point when I get a notification um, that a text message has come in, I can grab that app off of the control panel section, drop it down here in my workspace. I can read that text message. I can reply to that text message. I can see what that notification was. Um, and when I'm done with it, I can put it back up here in the control panel and continue on with what I was doing. Okay, and I think that's it for the demo. So let's, all right, that's it. Again, quick tips is just that, right? It's a quick tip. Um, and as we've been doing for our last couple of sessions, we'd like to end with a little uh, 
productivity inspirational quote. This one by Paul Meyer. Productivity is never an accident. It's always the result of a commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused effort. And I think within VR, we have an opportunity to achieve all of these. So thank you very much. I appreciate you joining us here at VR for Work and hope you'll come back and join us again. Be well.